It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got the Seahawks, rookie linebacker, who reached another plateau this week with his 80th tackle of the season. It's the Seahawks and the 49ers, and it's all up next on EA Sports. We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014. As you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. It is week 16 in the NFL, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. They've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. In the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks. season is upon us we've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16 taking it about the one and he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further so here's the first drive now for the 49ers they'll be let out by the former number three overall pick back in 2021 it's Trey Lance and he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach three touchdown passes zero interceptions which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there and got him the win play action now it's Lance and that one into the hands of IU downfield and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Throwing on first down is Lance. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Chaz Surratt coming in for that outside linebacker spot, and he buries him for a loss of seven. Now former six-round pick, it's Elijah Mitchell. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Nine yards on the pickup that time, so he got more than half of it back, but it's still a third and eight. To throw, it's Lance. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. So here are the Seahawks now with a long field in front of them. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you've really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try to create some space. They work now on second and nine. Now Smith. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he'll go out of bounds after getting this across the 15. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. Now Gino. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. First carry here for Ken Walker. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Play action. It's Smith. This complete to lock it. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Back to throw, Smith. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down.
Now to the ground. Here's Walker. And some strong running. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. Back to Walker on first down. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. And the numbers for Walker last week. 21 carries, 107 yards, and the touchdown. And the way they ran the ball last week has to bring a smile to the faces of the entire coaching staff because not only are they seeing a back pile of yardage, they're seeing an offensive line in sync, and that bodes well this late in the season. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Smith. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. This is taken around the 12. That'll go as a 39-yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Off of play action, here's Lance. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Now a play fake. Lance. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, Lance has it knocked free. The ball is loose. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups, check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. The throw over the middle taken in. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Walker now on first and 10. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 34-yard line, here's second and a yard. Now it's Smith. That's complete to D.K. Metcalf. And Metcalf going to have the Seahawks first down as the tackle is made at the 28-yard line. Now Geno on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. And he's going to go down here a sack. They push him back to the 34. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Throwing now is Geno. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 16. From the red zone now, Smith. Walker with a grab, left side. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. 
We're scoreless after one. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Throwing again is Smith. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. This a 43-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 score line as they begin with a first and 10. Open man is Samuel, complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. On second down, here's Mitchell. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On first down, they go back to Mitchell. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second down and nine. Throwing now is Lance. Flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. Now Lance. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Now it's Lockett. We'll call that a 49-yard punt, but a net of just 39 following the 10-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. It's caught, lock it. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's gonna bring up second down. Gino now to throw. Returning right back to Lockett. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Up the middle they run, it's Walker. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Ball spotted at the 45, here's second and four. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Offenses all over continue to be aggressive, and most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball. But oftentimes, it attracts a little bit of extra attention. And it did on that play, and that one got knocked away. On second down, here's Smith. Out right to Smith and Jigba. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Smith. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's what he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Here's Michael Dixon now to punt. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Lance in the 49ers now. First and 10 at their own 15. Lance looking to throw it. And 
his throw is going to be incomplete. These two teams, they met up earlier in the year, back in week two, and it was the visiting Niners who won that ball game, so they'll look to make it a clean sweep here at home in Santa Clara. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. And shoves him off at the 20. Brings it up just shy of the 25. Showed some of that quickness there on the move. The offense on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and two. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive to about the 35, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Here's Smith. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Gino. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Now a second and ten. On second down, it's Walker. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Now it's the backup, Rivers. Oh, and that is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Rivers. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Offensively. comes the 49ers punter now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away and now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40 yard line so possession goes over here on the punt and it will be first and 10 as they take over now Smith and the Seahawks gonna come up first and 10 at their own 42. Hands it to Walker to begin the series. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. Just need a yard here, second and one. 
Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3-0 our score. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down at a yard. Smith. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. It certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. That is caught. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing is Smith. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. On first down, it's Smith. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And down inside the 15, he goes. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Smith throwing again. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Seahawks will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead grows to 10 0. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Lance. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout to throw. It's Lance. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. This time they stay on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. And the Seahawks offense going to get one final possession in this first half. And with a 10-0 lead, you figure they won't try to do anything foolish here. Now Gino on first down. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. To the right side, this is Walker. And not much happening there as he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage and no more. So we've, All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And the half will begin with a touchback. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Throwing now is Geno. And he's got Smith and Jigba. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He continues to deliver a first down.
A shotgun snap for Smith. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Back to throw, Smith. Smith and Jigbo hauling it in on the out route. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the 50, it's Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. From the gun, here's Smith. That complete to Smith and Jigba. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Play action. It's Smith. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Short throw to Disley. And boy, he is very close to a first down. But from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Myers' kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Lance and the 49ers now, first and 10 at their own 22. Drive starts with a give to Mitchell. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. From the 25, here's second down and seven. Throwing now is Lance. His throw incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Lance to throw it. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now Lance. Rush coming, and he's taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. And Lance going to throw. Buying time to his left. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season, and that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 12-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. And Lance now to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Juszczyk. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Kyle Juszczyk. His first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Niners have got it back to within a score. So it took them a little while, Charles, but now they have their first points of the game and they come here in this third quarter. And more often than not, Brandon, when that happens, you find yourself down 21, 28 points and not really with a lot of hope. But with that touchdown, they're right back in this game. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. 
And this taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He is just not at his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. Back to the air. Smith on second down to the right side and complete to Metcalf. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try for the first with Walker. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Two yards is the pickup. And that'll be good for a Seattle first down. Geno out to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Now Smith. Short throw to Disley. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Gino. That is caught. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Up the middle, here's Walker. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. A gain of just one. Now second and nine. Now quickly here to Smith and Jigba. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 35. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Smith. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Second and 10, Smith again. A quick throw there is incomplete. But what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. No, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Ambry Thomas. Taking it right down Broadway. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Moody good with the extra point, and that will put them on top here in the third. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And he returns this to the 22. And out now come the Seahawks. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Only able to gain a couple there at its second down. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And that's going to be incomplete. The man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before. Almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. 
Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And whatever adjustments they made at intermission, they're working because the first half they didn't look so hot. Now they seem to be clicking. And you know me really well, partner. A lot of the time I like to downplay the idea of adjustments. Maybe it's just they executed better. But in this case, I think you're right on to something. They look so much sharper, so much better. They obviously saw something they needed to change, and they did exactly that. Change is working right now. One quarter remains here in week 16. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. The Niners on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and eight. Lance looking to throw it. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. Still going. And down to the 27-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 54 yards. And normal when you think about huge field flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver, that burner on the outside. Not here. That's a tight end doing work down the field. Where's the oxygen mask? He's going to need it after that one. A big, big play. First down, here's Mitchell. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Off of play action, here's Lance. Gets this one to use check. So give him two yards there on the completion. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Play action, now it's Lance. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. And this one is right through. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now a second and six. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Again, Smith. It's caught, block it. And he's going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing now is Geno. Throw out wide to Walker. It'll go as a gain of four. And that will bring up second down. A shotgun snap for Smith. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. The result, only four yards there on the play. And now we've got a third and three. Smith now to throw. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's when he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Fourth down. 
They'll run for it. It's Walker going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll start with a run by Mitchell. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Here's second and three. An option give now to Mitchell. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 64 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Once again, it's Mitchell, and they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and nine. Second down, here's Davis Price. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Here's Lance. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. And they'll go for it. Lance. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. Now a play fake. Lance. That's for the former Alabama man, Cameron Latu. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth quarter lead. On second down, here's Mitchell. That he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run with Mitchell. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Ochina Nuosu in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And his kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. So Geno and the Seahawks down 20 to 13, a minute 50 to play. Smith's going to throw it. He completes this to Walker. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Here comes second down at five. Smith to throw. A short throw to Disley. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Here comes second down. Here's Smith. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Smith.
Smith. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Now Smith. He hits his target, lock it. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 30. Now it's Smith. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. And they'll indeed take a knee. Well, Charles, we retreated to an excellent game today, capped off by that second-half comeback. This was a joy to watch. Entertaining for us. Not so much to the team who led at halftime. And now is leaving here, knowing that they let a win slip through their fingers. Tough one for them to carry home. So for the Niners, the wins keep coming as this one moves them to 12-3 on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for Seattle, they're guaranteed now a sub-500 season as they fall to 6-9. and nine. And they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Glendale to take on the Cardinals.